guys, so um, this week I will give you this product review from Lancome. Um, I've recently purchased this because I just realized that my Laneige cushion is too light for my face. It's so hot right now that I couldn't use my my usual sun tinted sunblock or whatever you call it so I was using either my Laura Mercier and either my Guerlain BB Glow but because the weather is so hot it kind of melts off easily um, when I start sweating when I start wiping it's, it's just melting away that's when I took my Laneige Mimi cushion out and little did I found out I think maybe my skin turned darker <laughs> I couldn't use this anymore um, it looks so light and pale on my face so I went to Jumura and I was in Bobbi Brown and um, I didn't really like how the salesperson spoke to me it's kind of like you want you buy don't ask so much question kind of thing so um, I like the Shiomura packaging where you purchase and then you can customize your case which is quite interesting I would say but I think for the price I think it was um, it was definitely cheaper than Lancome I don't remember the price I went over to Sephora and she was telling me about Makeup Forever she was telling me about um, Guerlain and she was also telling me about um, some of the top brands you know then finally when she talked about Lancome um, I find it relatable as in um, I told her okay look I, I'm using the Laneige baby cushion okay the reason so she asked me why didn't I want to stay on with Laneige so I said I think the tone is lighter for me now and I don't think it's suitable for my skin color so she said uh, she gave a an explanation about how some cushion give you a very cool effect and how some cushion give you a warm effect which is more natural um, looks more like um, uh, no makeup look kind of thing so I definitely want to give this a try and I like the packaging about this Lancome is very simple, like a mirror. When you open up this same thing, puff, and you open up with this. So I really like uh, how this cushion smell. Um, it's, it's a bit floral, floral scent. And then when every time you apply it feels like you are smelling something very nice so unlike this Laneige cushion it has this um, foundation smell so I'm just gonna quickly show you what's the difference uh, on my hand Laneige and the Lancome here I have the Laneige so I'm just gonna get a good amount it's kind of dried up already I left this in the cupboard for a very long time though yeah so Laneige gives you a very uh, cool effect okay and Lancome gives you a very warm effect my Lancome is definitely wetter it's more moist because it's still very new yeah, yeah. 
So I'm not sure how well does it show on the camera but this is definitely whiter and this is warmer and more pinkish um, it's not white it's definitely pinkish so yeah and he's it has this very nice floral smell yeah so this is Laneige and this is Lancome yeah now I'll wear the Lancome for a week and I will give you an update as and when until end of this week so right now um, I'm actually using the Laneige cushion uh, I look more um, fresh in Laneige I mean in, in Lancome whereas in Laneige I look very pale and I must put on some um, blusher and you know whatnot but Lancome gives me a very very warm glow yeah which is what I like so I just apply right now so it's still very fresh I will update you so right now uh, it's almost uh, three hours after applying my Lancome cushion and so far um, I've got no complaint look how good my complexion is I have this I don't know summer glow I call it yeah it's pretty nice and I've got no complaint but I'm gonna head out for lunch um, we'll see how after lunch <laughs> So it's currently almost 7 p.m. and my face is still looking very nice and I have no complaint about the Lancome cushion so right now um, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually sweating so I have no idea why this cushion is like magic anyway I'm heading back home right now See you! Hi, so now it's morning and I just showered. So today is day 2 using Lancome Mini Cushion. Yeah, so today I'm gonna do slightly different because I will be outdoor most of the time. So I don't want that, that dewy look. I want a little bit matte, but not too matte. So I'll be using my Laura Mercer powder using my powder brush so this is after um, facial and after washing my face putting the serum and and whatnot so I'm just gonna swirl Final look for day two with the Lancome cushion, and I'll update you soon. Just a quick update on my day two Lancome cushion. Uh, now it's three thirty, and it's still doing very fine. Um, I didn't have to touch up. Uh, I didn't even bring out, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I. I did sweat a bit because I was carrying stuff in Ikea so but it's still looking very fine. I absolutely love the effect. Stay tuned for more. It's currently 8.30 and my face look awesome. Yeah, it's very flawless, it's not oily at all. Even my forehead, I quite like it though. That's all for day two. Stay tuned for day three. Today is day f day three of using the Lancome BB cushion. Um, so far so good. I didn't really do much today. I just because it has SPF fifty, so I just use it as a sunblock. I just puff it on my face and that's it nothing else on my face um, just wash my face put moisturizer 
and I just puff the lichen cushion and I didn't even um, put any powder it's just the BB cushion right now so it's looking quite okay I yeah <laughs> so for the cushion I think uh, coverage wise is buildable uh, maybe one layer not enough you just you know pat on another layer but so far it's okay yeah so now is uh, twelve thirty of day three of my Lancome baby cushion. Um, so far so good. Uh, I'm sweating right now, but it doesn't really show any oiliness. Yeah, it's still looking perfectly fine. After my gym session, I'll give you an update. Actually, hitting my. 15 minutes of cardio I don't really know how my Lancome cushion is doing right now but I think maybe I will cool down a bit and I'll let you know again So just a quick update after gym how does my Lancome cushion doing? I think it's alright uh, yeah, I did sweat, but it didn't like melt until it's horrible. Uh, but it's just maintaining the shine. Um, I'm quite, I'm quite impressed with how it is after workout. Yeah, I'll be doing hair treatment. Yep. So I think I will just wash my face and reapply because I'm so sticky and sweaty right now. But other than that. Um, I do wear it throughout the day. It's just that today I did work out, so yeah, I'm just gonna wash it off and reapply. A little update for my Lancome cushion. I think it's working very well today. Um, I washed and I reapply again after the gym. So um, I think now it's about after three hours. Yeah, but still okay. Alright, so right now I am back home for about 5 hours. Yeah, so this is how my face looks like with the Lancome cushion. And I think it's quite nice. It doesn't give you the oily look, you know. Yeah. We'll review again tomorrow. Another update for you for my Lancome cushion. Today I did slightly different. Um, I apply a primer like I said and 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 then the cushion on top. So I just want to try um, how what's the difference, if there's any difference with or without primer, you know. So um, I sweat a lot during lunch. So right now my face is not cakey or oily or shiny. I think it's just okay, you know, doing okay. Um, and when I wipe my forehead, I don't see... I just dab. I don't wipe. I just dab. So I don't get like excess uh, from the cushion and whatsoever. One of the things that I am really impressed from this cushion is that my nose, my nose pad doesn't give a mark. If I take out my spec, it doesn't leave a mark. It's just the nose pad mark but it doesn't leave like the, you know, cushion, cushion rub off kind of mark. This is one thing that I am pretty impressed. I didn't expect it because like Laneige definitely leave a mark on my nose but this doesn't. Brownie points! It's 6.30pm right now as you can see I look 
like I'm preparing a shower. Yes, I am. Anyway, um, just the last update for today, the day four like um, cushion. I think it works really well with uh, my primer. So I think I'm just going to continue to do that. My face doesn't look oily. It's not cakey. It's just very smooth, you know. I like how my my pores are, are evenly concealed and at the same time, it's just very healthy looking skin. Yeah. So that's all for today. See you next. See you tomorrow. Just a layer of my Tarte primer and a layer of my Lancome cushion. So I want to try it out again. Whether is it consistent from what I felt yesterday. So this is my look for today. It's just very simple. I just want to try out the different technique of applying my lichen cushion. So let's we'll see how it goes. Right now it's afternoon about 2 p.m. So today is day 5 of my lichen cushion review. Um, I would say that it's pretty okay. Um, like just like yesterday, it's pretty smooth, it's not cakey, um, I didn't really sweat, so um, it's fine, yeah. So I, not much of a difference from the other day, yeah, so I'm just gonna go um, for a hair wash and hopefully it doesn't wash off the top, but so far I think it's fine. Even though after I went for a hair wash, I purposely pinned this up so that you can see that there is no uh, discoloration or um, the, the cushion did not melt when I wash my hair. Um, so far it's okay. So right now it's just very dewy and, and I look very fresh even though after a full day right now. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the result. This will be the last update for today, fifth day of my Lancome like cushion because uh, I'm gonna wash my face and put on a sheet mask and do my makeup in a while because I'm going for a wedding. So this is my day seven Lancome like cushion, last day of review. So um, I know I haven't been um, updating from yesterday and today and now it's already like evening so I'm just going to give you a quick update um, it's actually the same I don't have any complaint on the Lancome cushion I feel that um, it's actually a good product um, it's worth buying um, I'm yet to try like other brand or whatsoever so yeah I really like the packaging the design um, even though I know packaging and design not necessarily determine that the product is nice to use but um, that's my first impression and um, other than that I like how buildable it is for my face uh, you just have to layer it uh, if you want it to have more coverage or, or a thicker layer you know that kind of thing so um, yeah, I generally I am happy with the Lancome cushion. Um, nothing to complain. It doesn't cake up. It doesn't melt when you sweat, um, and it's quite lasting. I would say. So I've tried like powder and cushion, and it was quite good. And I've also tried um, a primer and then a cushion, and it's also very good. Yeah, so I really liked it. Um, but one thing is that because it has SPF, so you can use it during daytime, but in the evening, if let's say you have dinner or you have event, uh, you have to substitute with something else. You cannot use the Lancome cushion because it has like, it has like SPF 50, you know, it's quite high. So yeah, um, if they come out with one without SPF, I would definitely buy it. Yeah, 
Uh, I almost bought a Shimura and uh, Innisfree. Um, I haven't buy it. I, I'm not sure if I want to buy it because the Lancome one works so well. You know, like this is since morning until now. Now it's like almost 4, 4 p.m. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with the with the result and how natural it is. It doesn't give you like super glowy or super dewy. It's just nice. It's just nice for my skin. Yeah, and I definitely like this because um, it gives you, it has a pinkish base. It's not like a um, foundation base. So your face looks, your face generally looks more natural in the sense, yeah. Yep, so that's all for my one week Lancome cushion review. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you next time.